Mason is nine years old and he was born with a very rare genetic syndrome. It's called Lenz Microthalmia Syndrome. There's only about 12 reported cases of it in the world, so there's not a lot of data on it and not a lot of history. And Mason actually wasn't officially diagnosed until he was four years old. The way the syndrome has affected Mason is that his optic nerves never fully developed, so he is blind. He has glaucoma. He was born with two heart defects, one closed on its own in the NICU, and then he had open heart surgery when he was 18 months old. He has a little bit of a skeletal muscle tone, because he has low muscle tone. He has a global overall developmental delay. And three years ago, his intestines twisted, and they said it was from malrotation. It's yet to be determined if it's linked to his syndrome, because none of the other reported cases had that. So he's pretty much a miracle because when his intestines twisted, he went into severe fatal septic shock. They had no hope that he was going to survive the surgery he needed to untwist the intestines. And he actually had, they actually had to cut a lot of his intestines off. He did survive the emergency surgery through God's grace. After that, the doctors had pretty much told me because of the severity of the septic shock that his organs were going to shut down one by one, and then I could basically stay in the room until that happened. There's another little bump. Okay. His organs did not shut down, and you know, I always think like, thank God his heart has been healthy since his open heart surgery. Like, I don't know how things may have been different, but he was in the hospital for 40 days through that tragedy. They had to see if they were able to put his intestines back together. They really didn't think they were gonna be able to, and they were like, they didn't sugarcoat anything at Geisinger. I mean, they were amazing, but every day when they came in our room, it was like the dungeon of doom walking through there. The day before his surgery, the surgeon did like promise me. He said, I promise you, if I see any life, any blood, any signs of life in his intestines, if I can't put them back together, I'll put a bag in there. He can't live that way because he can't, you can't live without your small intestines. And he said he would give him some more time, but he was able to put them back together. No matter what Mason goes through, he's happy. He's always smiling. Mason really changed the way I look at life altogether because you learn to appreciate things that you took for granted, like just being able to see the sun. He feels the sun on his face and gets the biggest smile, you know, where we like to see it and you appreciate life and see it in a whole different way. No matter what Mason's been through, like no doctor ever told me your son's not gonna survive. So. I literally lost my mind in the bathroom floor at Geisinger Medical Center, but we have a very strong faith in our family. My faith like really carried me through that and strengthened it and you know, we just kind of you just have a, a greater appreciation for life after that. When Mason was in kindergarten, his school had me come up and talk to his peers and just kind of explain to him like why he had a cane and different things about that and gave them an opportunity to ask any questions and it was really helpful and like we go to the we go to Brandon Park a lot so just when we're at the park kids have lots of questions you know and they want to know well if he can't see why does he wear glasses and you know they always have questions about his cane and a lot of the times like when kids ask things like their parents kind of were like don't ask that you know when it's really a great teachable moment so that's really what inspired me to write the book, like for other children, to learn about not only children that are blind, but children that have other abilities and disabilities. Kids have so much sympathy for me. So they're like, I feel bad he can't see. You know, and the book tells you like, don't feel bad for me. You know, I just want you to understand me so we can be friends. When I found out I was pregnant with Christopher, I was like in shock, <laughs> but it has been um, a blessing. And he is the little big brother and he's always been a helper. Like since he's been walking, he likes to help Mason. And it was never like forced on him. He just always, he always wanted to do it. And you know, honestly, I don't know how I could do it some days without him. <laughs> so yeah, and they have just an amazing relationship as well. I guess what I would want people to know when, you know, when they see Mason or hear about Mason is that, you know, anything is possible. Mason has continued to beat the odds, you know, no matter what life throws your way to just find the good in your situation. And I feel like 
he has done that and inspired not only myself, but pretty much anybody that he comes in contact with. The book is, is available online at Amazon. It's also available at Otto's Bookstore in downtown Williamsport. We will be at first the Kids First Friday. Um, I believe it's August 5th downtown, and we will be down there um, selling the books and signing them.